London Breed made history when she became the first black woman to serve as mayor of San Francisco after a special election in 2018. Breed, who is a San Francisco native, was re-elected in 2019 and has made it her mission to address the social issues of the city, especially issues that disproportionately affect black San Franciscans. So I sat down with her to chat about what her historic mayorship means in a city where the black population is rapidly declining. All right, so the first thing I wanna ask you is, you know, as a black woman and more specifically as a black woman who's a politician, do you feel any amount of pressure to just be better than everyone, to be the most? Oh yeah, for sure. Because I look at like even a lot of the policies that I've been able to introduce and the investments we've made a billion dollars since I've been in office just for affordable housing in San Francisco. And, you know, it's always kind of never enough. It's been more significant, even in my short time as mayor, some of the things I've been able to do in the city in comparison to other folks who've come before me. But I probably don't get the same credit or attention, but it doesn't mean that I shouldn't continue to try harder because I have these little girls walking up to me saying, I'm gonna be the next mayor and I'm gonna do this. And you know, that's what motivates me. Like they need to see me doing this work right. uh, in a way that represents them well so that they can know what it looks like. You're part of a, a shift that's kind of like a national shift across the country, right? Where a lot of black women are being elected and put into positions where they can legislate and push change. Yeah. And so how do you feel about being a part of that shift? Oh, it really is an honor. I mean, the fact is, think about how diverse our experiences are with our families, our communities. My experience is the women of the community are the ones who took care of me. They took care of everyone. I grew up in public housing and my grandmother raised me and it was a very challenging time and there was a lot of violence, a lot of crime, a lot of hopelessness. The sad reality is I'm one of the few people in my community who was lucky enough to even finish college. You know, having a brother who's incarcerated, a sister who I lost to a drug overdose and this is not a unique story to me. Most of the people that I grew up with are in similar circumstances. They've lost children. They've lost so much in the community. And I think that it's time for us to change that. And it's time for us to make decisions that really directly target these communities in a way that's gonna help them thrive. Right. How do we meet people where they are and not think that one solution will work for everyone because a lot of those solutions have not worked for African Americans, not only here in San Francisco, but all over this country, which means there is a need to really target differently than anything else how we support the African American community. And that's really, you know, been my goal, my focus in San Francisco. And we've had uncomfortable conversations about the truth, right? African-Americans represent less than 6% of the population here in San Francisco. But when you look at homelessness, when you look at people who are involved in the criminal justice system, when you look at kids who are dropping out of high school, when you look at like the challenges with the people who are let go in the city and county's workforce, or the lack of diversity in the various sectors that exist in our city. When you look at the challenges in every single instance, why is it that we are disproportionately represented? Why? And that means that some of the policies that have existed, some of the investments that have been made are not good for this community. Despite all of the good Mayor Breed is trying to do in the city, San Francisco has historically grappled with the over-policing of black and brown people. It's an issue that caught the attention of the Obama administration's Justice Department. And although Trump's Attorney General Jeff Sessions removed all Obama administration consent decrees, the city of San Francisco made a commitment to continue with the suggested improvements for their police department. So prior to your tenure as mayor, the San Francisco Police Department was accused of having implicit bias. The DOJ did an investigation and they were accused of disproportionately using force against black and brown citizens in the city. And something you mentioned earlier is like the disproportionate rates of yeah. blacks in the criminal justice system. And so they, you know, they gave them suggestions and recommendations 
to how they could fix that. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like improvements are being made? Yeah. Well, not only did my predecessor commit to that, you know, members of the Board of Supervisors, which I served on, committed to that as well, because we know that there were challenges with the department based on the data. I mean, we didn't need the data to tell us. We knew, I mean, I knew from experience. And this was one of the first conversations I had with the officers when I became mayor. Very honest conversation about, you know, my cousin who sadly was shot by the police here in San Francisco and killed. There's a history here, but the fact is there was a need to work with the department. There was a need to build trust with the department. And so over the years, as someone who worked in the community, I'm really proud of building on those relationships because things changed as a result of that relationship. But the sad reality, it didn't change as a result of the entire department, right? And there were still other challenges that persist in other communities uh, where we've seen incidents like that play them, themselves out. And that's why it was, of course, important and necessary to implement training to get people to think differently. Now, the fact is, if you have issues with black people, you shouldn't be a police officer. If you have issues with any race, you, you know, that unfortunately plays into how you police a community. And we've seen some significant changes, a drop in use of force and uh, a number of other shifts uh, in the department. And we continue to try and work on building better relationships with the police. Um, I spend a lot of time um, working with communities and bringing people together to establish trust because trust doesn't happen one time. It happens over time. And so we both have to continue to be willing to come to the table. It's not us versus them. It feels like, to me, you feel an allegiance mm -hmm. and a sense of loyalty to people who come from where you come from. Would you say that's accurate? I say it's accurate because, um, and, and I know, you know, as mayor, I want to be clear, I love San Francisco. I'm going to do everything I can to take care of this entire city. And I've made it clear when I first was sworn in to uh, the department heads here in the city, to my staff, that, you know, real, real equity has to be at the top of our list. And that is my goal, is to see success for all of our residents.